in the most remote corners of our solar system, 2.8 billion miles from the sun, a lonely blue world drifts in the darkness. Neptune, cold, distant, mysterious, was long thought to slumber in silence. Yet something was happening deep within its twilight sky. A ghostly glow flickers against its azure hue, forming an unseen play of light where previously nothing had been observed. This is the story of Neptune's hidden auroras, a cosmic mystery that has only now been uncovered by humanity's latest celestial eye. We begin in the darkness that envelops Neptune. From here, the sun is merely a speck, 30 times farther away than it is from Earth, providing almost no warmth. And yet, atop the clouds of this icy giant, there's a strange oral glow. Unlike the familiar earthly auroras that show up as bright curtains of light across polar skies, Neptune's aurora defies expectations. Rather than appearing at the planet's poles, it shines closer to the mid-regions. A glowing blue haze wraps around the southern latitudes of this ice giant, roughly where South America would be located on a globe. This is an aurora exiled from the pole, a beacon of Neptune's uniqueness. For decades, this glow eluded us. Telescopes strained for signs of aural activity here, but achieved nothing. Only now, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope equipped with unprecedented infrared vision, we have finally glimpsed these elusive lights. This discovery is a revelation about the atmosphere, magnetism, and dynamic forces at work on this distant world. But before we see how James Webb captured this cosmic spectacle, let's return to the first hints of Neptune's auroral mystery. It was 1989. After a 12-year journey, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft finally flew past Neptune. The first and only spacecraft ever to visit it. During its brief flyby, Voyager 2 transformed this distant blue dot into a world of surprises. It discovered faint rings, confirming that even this faraway planet is encircled by dust and ice. It found Triton, Neptune's largest moon, erupting with geysers of frozen nitrogen. It also revealed that beneath the planet's calm exterior lies a turbulent atmosphere, home to the fastest winds in the solar system, over 1,300 miles per hour. Voyager also made a puzzling discovery. Neptune's magnetic field was wildly misaligned. Unlike Earth's relatively straight magnetic field, Neptune's is tilted a staggering 47 degrees from its axis of rotation. What's more, the magnetic center is offset from the planet's core. This means the planet's magnetic poles are not around its geographic poles, hinting that auroras might appear in unexpected locations. However, Voyager's instruments detected only faint traces of auroral activity some burst of energy and weak ultraviolet emissions on the planet's night side. It was just a whisper of phenomena that theory insisted must be there. After Voyager's flyby, the icy giant faded into obscurity once more, and its auroras remained an unsolved mystery. But it wasn't because scientists forgot about it. 
Despite its cold remoteness, Neptune harbors internal energy that stirs the atmosphere. It emits more than twice the heat that it receives from the sun. An inner furnace driving dynamic storms and high wind speeds. This internal heat combined with its bizarre magnetic field led researchers to suspect the presence of auroras possibly generated by a mix of solar wind particles and material from Neptune's own system. For more than 30 years, astronomers pursued this phantom theory. Night after night, they studied the planet's spectrum and came up completely empty. The challenge was immense. At Neptune's distance, auroral signals are extremely faint. While its upper atmosphere was expected to be too hot, around 890 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot atmospheres usually produce bright auroras, but what if something had changed? The unanswered questions kept piling up. Only a technological leap could illuminate Neptune's dark sky. In 2021, that leap arrived in the form of the James Webb Space Telescope. And in 2023, Webb turned its gaze to Neptune, unknowingly on the verge of ending a search that had lasted for decades. On the left, we see Neptune through the eyes of the Hubble telescope, a serene blue sphere with white clouds. On the right, the Hubble view is combined with the infrared vision of the James Webb and the planet is instantly transformed. Blue spots appear on the planet's disk. These glowing spots are auroras, finely captured in direct images. Unlike the uniform blue color on the left, the image on the right, enhanced by JWST, reveals elusive auroral regions glowing in the infrared range. They stand out distinctly against the cloud bands in the mid-latitudes, far from the areas where we could have expected to see them. The data that led to this discovery were obtained during observations in June of 2023 using James Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, or simply NIR-SPEC. However, it wasn't until March 2025 that scientists confirmed what had eluded them for decades. Astronomers had pointed JWST at Neptune to study atmospheric circulation, but what they got was far more interesting. Webb not only imaged the planet's auroral glow, but also captured a detailed infrared spectrum, a breakdown of light that acts as a chemical fingerprint of the upper atmosphere. One feature stood out in that spectrum, a very prominent emission line at the specific infrared wavelength. It was the unmistakable signature of a molecule called the trihydrogen cation, H3+. This spike in the infrared spectrum was the aha moment. H3 plus is a special molecule, three protons and two electrons, forming a triangular hydrogen ion. It forms in the upper layers of giant planets' atmospheres only during auroral activity. Essentially, when charged particles crash into a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, they can ionize the hydrogen gas, creating H3 plus which then glows in the infrared. On Jupiter, Saturn, and Uranus, H3 plus has long been a beacon for auroras. Now at last, Neptune has joined the club. Lead researcher, Dr. Henrik Mellon, recalls his reaction. It was so stunning to not just see the auroras, but the detail and clarity of the signature really shocked me. For a scientist who spent many long nights in vain pursuit, seeing Neptune's auroral fingerprint so clearly was like finally solving a 30-year cosmic puzzle. Another Neptune research veteran, Dr. Heidi Hamill, 
called JWST the machine that finally did what even the best ground-based telescopes could not. In one observation, the space telescope succeeded where decades of effort had failed. So, Neptune has become the final piece in the puzzle of auroras in our solar system. We've already seen dazzling auroras on Jupiter, radiant rings of light on Saturn, and even faint flickers on Uranus. With James Webb's discovery, these phenomenal phenomena have now been confirmed on all four giant planets. Yet on each one, the same phenomenon manifests differently. Jupiter's auroras are intense and mostly self-generated. Saturn's are more subdued and driven by solar wind. Uranus has strange ones due to its 98 degree axial tilt. And Neptune's, as we now know, are shy off-center light shows that require the most advanced telescopes to detect. This discovery confirms a magnetosphere that had only been theorized for decades. The James Webb Space Telescope will continue monitoring Neptune with observations planned for the coming years, spanning the full 11-year solar cycle. By tracking the planet's electromagnetic phenomena as solar activity rises and falls, Scientists hope to learn how the shifting stellar wind affects the magnetic environment of the ice giant. Every flicker is a clue. Perhaps a sharp increase in solar wind pressure will cause Neptune's auroras to brighten, or a period of calm will allow its ionosphere to cool even further. We're witnessing the beginning of a new era in the study of ice giants one driven not by brief flybys, but by long-term and detailed observations. Looking ahead, we can tell that the results offer hope for future missions. Imagine a dedicated orbiter equipped with infrared cameras and particle detectors flying through Neptune's magnetosphere to capture auroras up close. A mission like that, along a planned orbital mission to Uranus, is the dream on the horizon of planetary science. James Webb's discovery has underscored how essential it is for future spacecraft to carry infrared instruments capable of continuing this detailed study. And when we eventually send probes to this distant world, we'll know exactly what to look for. The faint infrared glimmer of H3 plus pulsing in the grip of the magnetic field. Beyond our solar system, Neptune's auroras may be important for exoplanets as well. Many of the planets we found around other stars are Neptune sized, and some may possess magnetic fields and auroral activity of their own. If a distant, cold world such as Neptune can host auroras fueled by a faraway star, could we one day detect similar signals from exoplanets? Perhaps telescopes modeled after James Webb might be able to spot a distinct H3 plus signature or similar markers in the atmospheres of alien worlds. This opens up new possibilities. These phenomena may be a universal planetary feature revealing a world's ability to shield itself with a magnetic field. Neptune's newly discovered auroras remind us that even in the farthest corners of our solar system, the skies are full of light and energy, and the world around us, which we thought we knew, still holds surprises faint shimmer, patiently waiting for us to build the right tools. Now as we continue observing with the fine-tuned instruments owned by curiosity, the universe is speaking more clearly, and it has much to say.